I don't think I'll be going to the trouble of putting these two together, but... Um, okay, so here's some possibilities. You guys could have killed your officers and crew, uh, your officers and your captain. You could have put them off on an island. You could have hijacked the vessel when it was in port and one of the other islands in the Caribbean. You were on board long enough to cross the Atlantic for you and most of the crew to realize that this Cheney fellow was essentially a fucking sadist who hated all of you and was going to treat you like shit. A lot of men were lashed for no good reason. Um, it was just awful. And uh, you two were probably instrumental in, in getting him ousted in some way, shape, or form. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you were voted on captain and you either assigned Colin as quartermaster or he was also voted as quartermaster. Either way, that you guys decide. Um, there you go. The ship was originally called... Oh, I had a name for the ship. Swiftwind? I think it was called the Swiftwind. Um, yeah, I guess it is now. Uh, the Swift Wind, and so you basically grabbed it from him. How? how what did you want to do to the captain and, and the officers? I mean, it could have been a big old mutiny. Uh, we already discussed that you lost your eye, Ashton, because the captain hit you in the head with his club or I, something. I and it just wrecked your eye. You let a mutiny? Where, were you at sea? Were you near port? What did you do with the captain and the crew once, and the officers once the mutiny was over? Um. Left on an island. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I. Left uh, on an island. Uh, I actually. Uh, I say we killed all the officers. Oh God. But uh, we left the captain on an island with a pistol. Just a pistol? How big an island? Like the size of this table? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of the practices back then. Um, so a tiny little nothing island, just with a pistol, no water or food or anything. No. Ouch. Okay. And just for spite, the pistol did not have a shot at it. <laughs> oh. Okay. If you can make me a sanity check. Oh, that was, that was, that was really No, even even solid. marooning somebody, it's not going to cost you much for marooning. This guy might actually make it. He might be saved. Who knows? But make a sanity check. What's the oh, percentile dice? I have to get. It. That number or less? Oh. Yeah, 35 or less. Did you make it, Ashton? You don't lose any sanity. Ten, you, made you guys it. don't lose any sanity. He deserved it. He was an awful monster. He took uh, he took uh, Whitewall's eye. Whitewall was in great shape before, uh, as you, when you guys left England, within a month of crossing the Atlantic. Whack! There was no ship's surgeon, so basically uh, it festered a little bit, and then they used uh, hot iron on it and kind of burned away what they could and dumped um, alcohol on it so you wouldn't die on it. Yeah, it was pretty horrific. You're, you're pretty badly scarred right around the eye, too, I would assume, Ashton, but the, the patch that you have covers it up. So, um, so the officers were killed during the mutiny, then. Is that, is that what the deal that happened? And they actually fought back, and you guys murdered them. And then the captain himself was put off on some rock that you saw out in the ocean with an empty pistol that you told him I had a ball in. So, not a nice thing. Uh, you guys vote on a quartermaster, or you get a sailing master, a boatswain, a coxswain, uh, master gunner, master carpenter, surgeon. Uh, there's no surgeon on board. Um, Call me up, shitty luck. When you luck check. Yes, because they Oh. Did you make it? You guys have a good cook. There's a good cook on board who actually makes keeps morale up amongst the crew because having somebody on board that can turn hardtack and beef jerky into something palatable is pretty important. Um, yeah, right now, uh, Pirate, Pirate Port Royal is a pirate haven. Um, my 1661, a drinking house for every 10 residents, brothels, gambling houses, taverns, line the streets for blocks. Uh, there's probably about 4,000 people populating this place. Um, tropical savanna climate, short dry season from January to April, lengthy wet season from May to October. Um, it's been held by the English in 1655, and it was in 57 when the governor of Jamaica invited the buccaneers to the city. Uh, that was the same time that the English launched a series of attacks against the Spanish sailing vessels in coastal towns, uh, and then the Buccaneers became privateers. And it's been going really sweet ever since. Henry Morgan is one of the greatest Buccaneer leaders of the time. Uh, since 1664, he often arrives flushed with victories from a daring raid and sets a huge cask of Spanish wine in the middle of the street, commanded, commandeering all who pass to stop and have a drink with them. Uh, sometimes the victory celebrations can last four days. Uh, there's a buccaneer's quarter and a gentle genteel quarter, and the um, the genteel quarter is small, 
but and there's not a whole lot of mixing, but everybody gets along. Um, everybody's British or other. Uh... Oh, and each of you guys can make me either a listen, spot hidden, or a knowledge check. Your choice. Do you think that you've heard a rumor? Just a random rumor. Ashton? You didn't use whichever one was highest? I used the one that was highest. Okay. Um, Ashton, you've heard that they say the plague killed tens of thousands in London last year, and that probably some people coming in are probably bringing it here. Um... And you guys can each make me another knowledge check. And you'll know one of the names of one of the captains going after the Spanish galleon. He left a few days ago, though, actually. So maybe he isn't going after the Spanish galleon. Okay, so Ashton, there was a Harry Cromwell of the ship The Stars Are Right. Oh, actually, I um, Did you get it? Okay, yeah, you noticed too, then. Um, he left a few days before these rumors started circulating. So, but you've heard of this guy. He's kind of mean and nasty. Um... What do you want to do? You're in Port Royal. You've heard about the ship. A lot of captains are setting out. Uh, what do you want to do? Here's your map of the Caribbean. So what's the call? Oops, that's that. Jamaica, Port Royal. A lot of the ships come this way. That's why it's a great So spot. this, this like, Spanish ship, it's going back to Spain? Yes, it's going from Panama to Spain. Okay. They left Portobello. Which is in, down in this area down here. Yeah. On the north coast of uh, Panama, actually. But it's been very, it's very sketchy, what you, the information that you've received. Mm-hmm. Oh, and your ship is Sweet Vengeance? Here it is. Uh, uh, each of these squares will leave your ship to ship combat will be 50 yards. Ish. These are a little bit big for that, but. Um, how long is your ship? Look at this. 40 yards long. Okay. So I might say each of these is 20 yards or something like that. We'll figure it out. What's the plan? What do you want to do? Direction do you want to go? Where do you want to head? Where do you want to look? Where do you want to try to find the Spanish galley? The ship was leaving from Portobello, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the ships go actually come up through here and then they head on to Europe. Uh, right now, the, the Spanish, I believe, uh, the French and Spanish hold Hispaniola. The Spanish, of course, on Cuba. Spanish on a lot of different places around. So there's some British holds in the Bahamas. Uh, right now, oh, uh, let me give you a little quick recent history. Um, the Great Britain has been at war with the Dutch since March of 1665. Um, the war, from what you've heard from some ships coming in, is the war is winding down. Um, so right now, the Dutch, the French, and Denmark are their enemies. They are not at war with Spain right now, but everybody hates the Spanish. So you know, robbing them is not a big deal. Because they're, they're so rich? Yeah. Spain has been looted for years, uh, starting with, um, I think, Drake or Walter Raleigh, I can't remember which one, who basically started bringing back all kinds of money back when Elizabeth was still queen. Um, she died in 1603. Uh, who's king now? It's James II. And had that the introduction of that. Um, Swiftwood, there's the name of the damn ship. 
Charles II is on the throne of England right now. That'd be James's son. And um, England has a monarchy again. Uh, James was murdered by Oliver Cromwell, the Lord Protector, and the Puritans. But since uh, Charles II has been king, they have been phasing Puritanism out quite heavily. A bunch of jerks anyway. Where do you guys want to go? Storms threaten on the horizon to the north, but they never come close. Some of the crew grumble it's a bad sign, and a few worry that the rainy season is coming early. Um, that night, the moon seems red and threatening in the sky above. And each of you guys can make a sanity check. Well, that's cruel. Nope. made it. Okay, so you lose a point of sanity, Colin. And you have it because you have this dream. Ashton, you wake up. White Wall, wait, White, White Wall, yeah. Yep. White Wall wakes up um, disturbed, but you can't remember what you dreamt about. Mm. Alan, you, you dream of a strange city deep underwater huh. where fish worship at altars and buildings with terrible shapes. You wake up very disturbed the next day and are out of sorts. Uh, on, the, on the second day, you plow through your part of the sea. You plow through a part of the sea that seems laden with dead fish and birds. All of them floating. It stinks of putrid and rotting meat. Uh, it seems to last for a few miles before you pat your past it. And again, you don't spot anything, you don't spot any other ships that day. So you can make another sanity check because you have more weird dreams that night. You made it. 19. Oh, I did. Actually, look at your guys before you decide you failed, Colin. Did you make yours, Ashton? Okay. You guys have some, you wake up from strange dreams, you don't remember any of them. Um, uh, on April 20th, there's a cry of ship ho from the masthead. He points north by northwest on your present location. Um, and on the horizon, you can see a ship that is. Yeah, it's a ship. What's the colors? Uh, she's not flying any. She's not flying a flag, which is actually common practice not to do so until you get close to other vessels. Right now, oh, do you guys have a Jolly Ranger? And what does it look like? Oh. Choices. Yes, more choices. So one-eyed skulls wasn't very pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could use one-eyed willies. What? Skull and crossbones. You could. A one-eyed skull over a... Or a one-eyed skeleton. Okay. Yeah, a one-eyed skeleton. Does he have a cutlass in his hand? That's perfectly legit. Several did have whole skeletons for their... for their. Uh, I forgot to look up whether or not skull and crossbones are real common in this age yet, but we're going to say they are. Okay, so uh, you make towards that ship. Are there any orders for the crew? Oh, I guess. Uh, well, it's either of you at this point. Okay. Uh, this is action right now, so this is actually... Uh, you're yeah. heading for that vessel. So technically, the captain could take over, over if you want to have them run out the guns or ready powder and shot. I mean, you've probably got over... It. It's, it's, a, it's about five... It's between six and eight miles away, which means you guys have well over an hour before you actually get to this other ship. So you have plenty of time to, like, prepare anything you want to prepare. Ashton, Luke Cabin, <laughs> what do you want to do? What kind of trip is it? I can't tell yet. You'll, you'll have to get closer. Even with the spyglass, uh, you can barely make it out. It's on the horizon. I want to ready the camera. Okay, so you haven't run out the guns. Um, you gonna have them open the um, the gun ports yet, or just okay? So just basically charge all the cannons and hand out weapons and uh, rifles and pistols and everything. Everybody starts loading up all their guns. Like I said, it's gonna be at least an hour before you guys reach this thing. Uh, your ship, let's see, which you said it was to the northwest. 
Let's see which way the wind is blowing. Here we scattered eye. That's north. Okay. So the wind is actually blowing due north, which is good because that puts it on your aft, uh, on your, what do they call it? They call it the um, aft quarter, which means you could actually make 10 knots if you pull all, put all the sails out uh, very easily. So it'll be less than an hour before you reach this other ship, uh, depending upon its speed. How hard would it be to slow down? A what? How hard would it be to not, slow down? Not, not at all. I mean, it takes a while to, you have to reset the sails, but you could slow down um, to... Um, basically, here we go, um, light, normal, full, okay, you have the choice of light, normal, full, or reckless sail. And basically, with the half quarter, you can go up to ten knots. Um, you can slow yourself down easily to nine knots. And you can even go even, even slower than that if you want, uh, depending upon how many, you can just pull a bunch of sail in, if you want to come up on them more slowly. What's your call, Captain? Right now, you just rigged for normal sail, so you're moving around 10 knots if you head that direction because of the, yeah, because the wind's on your aft quarter. Yeah. But you don't have to, yeah. And actually, yeah, you're kind of going like this. And here, we're just going like this, like that, and that's the direction the wind is predominantly blowing in this general vicinity. Mm -hmm. And the other ship, I'm not going to pull it out, but it's basically, well, she's this guy for at least its bearing it's and heading. <laughs> you know it's a ship. It's obviously a ship. And it's heading towards us? Um... It appears to be heading uh, oh, it's either, toward you or away, either toward us or away from us. It's kind of hard. So it's heading. Actually, it is kind of heading towards you guys. Towards or away. You're right. It's kind of hard to tell. So what's it called? Right now, you're moving ten knots uh, with regular sails set. How fast are they going? Uh, it's impossible to tell. Once you get within five miles or so, you'll be able to get a better view. Okay. You want to just wait? Um. Yeah. Okay. So half an hour passes. You're five miles closer. Uh, this other ship has changed course. Like that. So she is turned broadside onto you and is apparently trying to make her way kind of like out of your direction. Uh, with Spyglass, you can tell that she is flying. She's not flying a flag, but she does have big, big old crosses on the remains of her, of her sails. So she's most likely... Yes, exactly. Uh, the ship appears to be damaged. It does look like a Spanish galleon. Uh, the main mast apparently is gone. The uh, the sails have been roughly repaired. A makeshift sail has been erected and is obviously struggling and possibly taking on water. And she's not moving fast at all. If we say, say every two is just for two, four, six. So if we say every two is a, is a half mile. Yeah. Um, as you came this direction straight at her, she basically made a turn and has maybe gone half a mile in that half an hour. So she's obviously struggling very hard in the water. Um, and that's what you can see. You won't be able to tell much more until you get closer. You're still five miles away. It's a good, or er, not five miles, you're still four miles away. You know what? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that won't be too hard. When you get within a mile or so, um, you see your gun ports are all closed. Well, some of them are missing. There are some gun ports that are actually, it looks like they've been blasted off the ship. There's obviously been, they've been in a terrible fight. Um, great rents are visible across the bow. Um, there are some side as of men on board the ship. You can see men on board the ship. Um, they appear to be uh, trying to get more sails up. You guys have not uh, raised your colors yet. Right now you're just a ship that's coming at these guys, so... You tell me if you want to raise up the Jolly Roger, or when you want to raise it up. Um, but she's obviously that, a mess. This is that an etiquette thing? Uh, what do you mean? Like, can I roll etiquette to see if, like, is there, like, is there, like, a time where you, you're supposed to, or does it not matter? Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's when you decide you want to let them know. And what the Jolly Roger says is surrender, or we're going to fuck yeah. you up bad. If you surrender, you'll be treated fairly. It's usually the pirate, kind of the pirate code. Yeah. Um, I'm not just going to murder a whole crew. It can be bad if that kind of word gets out, but um, if you, yeah. So there you go. 
And how far you say away? You're a couple of, uh, mile mile or so away still. And they can see us, so yeah. yeah they can see there's a, it's a they, they know it's a ship. Green's color is blue. Okay. So one of the crewmen's like, yeah, and he runs down and starts pulling up the line, and your 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 Jolly Roger goes up. Um, almost immediately as you do this, um, the the Spanish uh, flag that had gone up before when you were within a couple miles, which I'm retroing in, uh, is they strike their colors and it comes down, and you see them starting to refinish in their sails. It looks like they're surrendering. Yeah, that was it. Can be sometimes. How do you want to approach the ship? How do you want to? Um, ah, a few people are just ah. Oh, Only a few. Most of them are like yes, because it's preferable to take a ship without any fighting, because then nobody gets killed or have to have to have their lights chopped off. Or have to repair off. the ship. Yes. So. so how do you want to approach this? Um, well, that was I'm, I'm still um, yeah, I'm still going like along. Right. Side. They are dead still in the water, except for like I mean they're still moving, but barely. You know what I mean? They haven't dropped anything. Yeah. Um, how do you want to approach? Do you want to send a longboat? Do you want to come up on side and grapple? What's the call? This is no considered. This is no combat situation. So uh, still well, yeah, right we we have the guns ready, so yeah, I feel like ready. we can just pull off like right beside them yeah. and like grapple on. Okay, that's what you do. You grapple onto their ship. Um, there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of men on board. You would expect a lot more men on board or around. Um, oh, the name of the vessel is the Paloma Azul. Does either of your characters speak Spanish? No, I don't have it. So you do not know what that means, but yeah. it's Paloma, Paloma Azul. Um, what's the plan for taking on a boarding party? Everybody on board your ship is armed right now. Except the cook. He's, he's, well, yeah, he's armed too. He's got a giant cleaver. So we can tie up all the men. Like, what are they doing? They're just standing there? Uh, right now, they're, they're backed away from the side where you guys have thrown grapple and hooks and used boarding pikes and stuff in order to pull the ships together. Okay. Um, you, the, you're ha- a good portion of your crew, like 30, the, all the guys in the rigging are now reefing your sails in, yeah, yeah, so you're yeah, not going to like, yeah. so bad things don't happen there. Uh, everybody knows their job. Um, you see a group on deck that is armed with rifles. And there is a there's a there's a gentleman uh, a man in apparently a captain's uniform in the front with he has a small sword in his hand uh, like a rapier but a little tougher than that and that's what he's on he has a rapier he actually has a rapier in his hand here is what he looks like there he is. Um, They are not aiming in the general direction of your ship, but they all appear armed with muskets and, like, ready. And he's standing in front of them. What's the plan? What do you want to do? What do you want you and your men to do? Uh, and there's 20, 20 guys with muskets there. I'm dead. How about you start boarding party? You can take a whole crew if you want. You got 175 men on board. You get about 30 to 35 are in the rigging. They'll be busy. But you can take everybody else if you want. That abandons all your cannons and stuff. Um, but if, if you want to, <laughs> you, you, like, you can take you can take like half leverage. the crew, like 50 men, that's because you don't need any of the cannons on the side that's not facing yeah, the Spanish yeah, yeah, ship yeah. right now. So you can have all those guys come with you. Yeah, that's okay. And okay, well, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your plan, Ashley? Right. Um. Remember, you're the captain I'm, right now, and this is a combat situation. Uh, he's in the shouting distance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ship's I'm, like I'm gonna tell him. He's standing near the bow of his ship. He's towards the back, over here. Um, and he's just kind of glaring at you guys. Um, did all, a lot of you, uh, both of you can make this fight him. Okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of these men on the Spanish ship, including the guys with muskets and the captain, look haggard. They look like um, they haven't. They're pale. They look malnourished. Um, Not that sounds like our shit. Almost kind of in desperate <laughs> straits. What? What? They've heard of you. What did you no, say? No, I said it doesn't really sound like our ship. Like it's, what we know is that they took off from Puerto Bello. Port, yeah, Puerto Bello, and they're headed to Spain with like riches. Right. If, if they're malnourished, they've been on that ship a while. 
So what do you want to do? What's your what are your orders? Uh, I'm, I'm what are your orders, I'm, Captain Earth? I'm gonna yell at the at the other guys. I'm like, put down your weapons or we'll blow you out of the water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um Ah, uh, he strides over towards the towards the uh, the edge of the ship. Um, his men come with him, but they stop once they reach the bow. And you've got you, you guys are all like this, yeah, and guns are all pointed. Yeah. And he's like, "Are you going to kill us like those others? Um, are you going to leave us without even food or water or a compass? Because if so, I will fight to the death." Now you're far enough away that it's not in your face. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he's pointing his sword like at you. You're probably. On the bow of the ship, of your own ship, kind of like, yeah, happening. And um, you can make another spot hidden action. And you're gonna bonus to this one. Made it, um, yeah, that, that, that's when okay. you see how haggard these guys look. They look like they have maybe not eaten in a few days. Uh, even this captain looks really like he's in bad shape. They still not putting down their weapons? Not yet. They seem pretty agitated. So they don't have anything left. They've already been, like, taken over. Well, they were coming. Could be. They were coming in from the north. Right? They, they were coming, they were heading in kind of your direction. Kind of in a, you don't see land anywhere around you, though, so if they don't have a compass, they could be lost. The ship we were looking for was in the south of this, right? Originally, but you don't know how you don't know when it's set for. Rumors they, go they, however right. fast they go. Rumors go as fast as they go. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. it's it's yeah. hard to tell. Your rumor didn't include when they actually set up from Park Bell, or you might have been able to guess their location. You just heard they 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 set out, and you're like, let's go. And so you're just kind of randomly looking. Um, this could be the ship. It might not be. It might be another Spanish ship of some kind. It is a galleon. It's it's a big fucking ship. I mean. Spanish galleons had a ton of guns, and the fact that they didn't fire any guns at you guys or anything is, well, they're tore up. Anyway. I'm going to say again, lower your weapons, or we're blowing you out of the water. I will ask you the question again. Are you merely going to leave us at sea to die? Or in the name of all mercy and the love of God, will you help us? Pirates though you may be. What do we get in exchange? What do you want? There's nothing left on board. They took it all. All of it. Are you sure about that? You are free to come aboard and look, Captain Mon Capitan. But bring bar barrels of water. At least water my crew. We have not had fresh water in over a week. The sword's not like pointing at you, it's like like dragging on the ground now. Why? Did the last people take your water? They took everything. Everything that was on board that was not nailed down. You may have my sword. She just drops it to the deck. <laughs> that I still have. The men are, the Spaniards that are around him, they're all in uniform. These are obviously like soldiers. Well, not uniform, uniform, but you know. Um, they're looking at him and certainly now. Well, maybe you have some information. Will you bring us food and water? Will you tell us where we are? I will tell you anything you wish to know. How much food and water do we have? You guys have tons. You're fine. Oh, yeah. Right now your ship is like... You've been doing okay. You've been doing some some trading. You know, you've been like moving cargo. And you've been doing a little piracy, a little petty any crap. You haven't made like a lot of money, but you've been able to maintain. So you're well armed. You're you're well stocked with with uh, with powder and sh- and shot. You're you've got plenty of food right now on board. You could probably give these guys a week's worth for. There doesn't look like there's a lot of guys on this ship. Mm-hmm. Spanish guys go like 300 men, yeah. and the deck looks really empty. And again, none of the, their guns have How been run out. How close are we for it? Um, you guys are up. You guys are up in north of Jamaica, probably about. Uh, maybe 50 miles north of Jamaica, you think. Between 
Twenty five and fifty miles north of Jamaica. Uh, navigation is always kind of guess a lot of guesswork. You don't. Yeah, yeah. You, you no, I, I want to know. is impossible to, to to determine in this period. Yeah, I just want to know like roughly how many days it would be to reach Spanish Port because I'm assuming that's where they want to go. If they knew where they were going, yeah, they could get to Cuba in a day, maybe two, because they could go straight up to Cuba, and then they could go on shore yeah, and so get like, food and shit, yeah. like just whatever they could find. Um, they obviously have, have powder unless this is a huge bluff. Because unless there's no gun, mus- powder in their muskets, um, they have some powder on board, so they can use that to hunt and get food. They've probably been fishing, because you always have fishing hooks and lines on board. But, um, and, uh, and like I said, he doesn't know where he is either. I want to pick up the sword and hand it back to him. Okay. And I'll say... He takes it in a very, like, yeah. non-threatening way. Um, and again, he just puts it, it's just sitting on the ground. It's just... I'll give you water and a compass in exchange for information. Very well. Where do you wish to exchange this information? My quarters. Sheets of swords. They will bring you water. He still seems suspicious of you, but he's coming. He climbs over the gunwale, jumps across. And gets on board. Some of the men are like, oh, no treasure. Oh, damn it. Are there any Spanish beauties on board? <laughs> <laughs> Smack. <laughs> They're never armed. Okay. Um, you take to, to your cabin. You guys each have your own, like, cabin. You've got the best one um, as captain. Because you do the most work. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, quartermaster has a good one, too. You guys probably have... Yes. They're probably pretty equal. Uh, you take it into cabin and have, what do you want to do? A few of your men come in with you. Do I have, like, maps? Oh, yeah, yeah, tons of maps and charts. You have to, or else you get lost out here and it's a death sentence. You have maps, there's extra, you have an extra compass, you have charts and stuff. Um, he just seems exhausted. He stumbles as he's kind of, kind of following you. Like, I'm he's not being doing anything. I'm going to offer him a drink. Uh, of... Water or grog or something or whatever you want. I mean, I would give him good stuff, but he probably wants water more. Okay. So I'll give him water. Yeah, you got a barrel of water in your cabin. Yeah. You uh, you dump, you just stick a cup in and hand it to him. He just drinks it down, doesn't drop drip a drop out. He says, "Gracias." What do you wish to know? Uh, did anybody order the crew to take some barrels of water over to, to the other ship or anything? I didn't. You did? Yeah. Okay. I did. So you can assume that's going on over there. He kind of sits down on one of the benches or a chair or something that's in, in the room. He's exhausted, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, is, like, I mean, we're pirates, so I'm going to say we were at uh, port at... Uh, Port Royal, and uh, we heard rumors of a Spanish galleon uh, full of gold headed to Spain. <laughs> full of gold. We had gold, yes. I'm Captain Montenegro Salguero. Who are you? Captain Cameron Whitewall. We set sail from Botabuelo with four. Put the bale with full cargo hold and a crew of 300 bound for Spain. We have treasures from the Orient, brought from Panama, as well as gold, silver, jewels, and the horrible statue captured from somewhere on the Pacific coast. From what I understood, the mule train between the two cities was plagued with bad luck. Men complained of huge black mosquitoes, even in the mountains, and many men and mules died or disappeared on their way across the isthmus. Mule trains even attacked by a group of men one night, but drove them off and killed them. We set sail from, from Portobello on April 8th. What day is this? Uh, it's the 20th, you know that. Yeah, it's yeah. the 20th April. Mm, you've been lost longer than I thought. Almost immediately things began to go wrong. The very first night, fearing a light storm, several barrels broke loose below decks. The sailors crushed to death against the golden statue and was not found till morning. And every night after that, at least one crewman and sometimes more died. And always the helmsman. And when the, when the body was discovered, only at the changing of the watch, the ship was always off course by several degrees. However, until that changing, none of the crew noticed anything wrong with the man, as if 
He had been standing watch dead the entire time. I spoon food spoiled quickly, much more quickly than is normal. Many of the crew began to mutter about the curse and the terrible, on the, and the terrible statue in the hold. Over the next day, several crewmen disappeared altogether, and sometimes things seemed strange for us all, not to mention the terrible dreams everyone had. Colin, that strikes a chord.